a historic enclave of Europe on the North African coast. This is the Spanish autonomous city of Ceuta. There's no airport in Felta, so unless you can charter a helicopter, then your options are the land border with Morocco, or most likely the ferry from Algeciras in mainland Spain. Now the views as you come across the strait are spectacular, but you could find out, as I did this morning, that it can be very rough. Most of the crossings are by catamaran, and it only takes about one hour. The origins of Felta are very common for this part of the world settled by Phoenicians, then the Romans, and then the Moors. But in fact, there hasn't been Muslim rule of this peninsula for over 600 years. In 1415, it was the Portuguese who conquered the city, and it wasn't until 1668 that the residents of Ceuta petitioned to join the Crown of Castile. That's how the city, all 24 square kilometers of it, came under Spanish control. And although the Moroccan government might not like it, the Spanish are very much here to stay. As you might expect, it's not difficult to find a Moroccan breakfast here. You know, it would be easy to miss Ceuta's most emblematic building if you forgot to look up. La Casa de los Dragones. Fantastic, isn't it? Oh, give me a break. All this sightseeing makes you hungry, you know. To commemorate the legend who created the geography of this particular part of the Mediterranean, if you believe your mythology, there are two huge statues of the Pillars of Hercules. One at the harbour entrance and the other here in the city centre. Hercules is hard to beat, but I really like the fact that this is a city that celebrates public art. There are statues everywhere, ancient and modern. This evocative sculpture celebrates Felta's Easter week, Semana Santa, a Nazareno with a young boy. Well, it does rain here from time to time, so it seems like a good time for lunch, really. I could be here a while. Not only is the fish enormous and delicious, but the waiter keeps bringing me other things to try. Like a mini paella. Well, the good news is the sun's come out. The bad news, I think I've gained about a kilo in weight. The restaurant, La Columna, highly recommended. Right, let's get walking. The city is a lot quieter than normal because at the moment, to stop the spread of COVID-19, the frontier with Morocco is shut. And in fact, it's been shut for months, which has had a massive impact on trade on both sides of the border. So one has to hope that that changes soon and this city gets back to its usual hustle and bustle. Obviously there's a limited amount that one can do on a day trip, especially in winter, 
but I'm really glad to have tasted this unique corner of Africa. Goodbye from Felta. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next journey.